Hey everybody, welcome to the third Tidal Wave by the wonderful Sticks and Stones Art and Poetry Collaborative. <laughs> it was a very eventful year and a lot, of, uh, a lot of work was put into not only having them blossom as poets, but also have them blossom into confident readers, which they all agreed to come here and I I'm very proud of you all already. Now after this, we're going to keep writing poems and keep working on what we're doing. And I don't want to be part of this scene at all. I want to have my assistant Ian come and help me out. And we're going to start introducing some of our poets. Any questions, you can reach out to me after. We can network. You know, you can. But first. OK. I mean... OK, that's fine. So this, the, my assistant MC is Ian Burke, who's going to have a special introduction. OK, thanks. First, I would like to give a, I want you to give a quick clap to my parents, Janet and Jim. <laughs> All right, now give it official. And now, <laughs> welcome to the, to Tidal Wave 3, we are Sticks and Stones Art and Poetry Collaboration. And, our first poet. and the first poet is TJ. Number one. Rain, number two, hair. Hold on one second, TJ. <laughs> you can step, you have such a strong voice. Just stand right here. You ready? All right, good. The microphone will pick you up, don't worry. You don't have to bend over anything, you can read your list. All right, take two. <clears throat> um, <laughs> rain, number two, Hair, number three, falls. Number four, leaves. Number five, quiet. Number six, sounds. Number seven, sleep. <laughs> number eight, Oh, I, I, I already did that. Um, um, number eight, wake. Number nine, birds. Um, number ten, last one, not least, water. Mm, not yet. <laughs> number one. Pile of leaves. Number two, pile of woods. Um, uh, number three, pile of trees. Number four, rain. Uh, cloudy. Number five, fishing, boats. Uh, number six, ducks, pond. Number seven, waterfall. Um, number eight, uh, uh, panic. <laughs> Um, that, um, that's it. <laughs> okay, right, here goes my, uh, the last one. <laughs> Number one, um, wolves. Number two, uh, pale of snow. Um, number three, volcano. Nice. 
Number four, Coyote. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Number five, um, uh, Polar Bear. <laughs> Number six, uh, Snowfall. <laughs> Number seven, Crows. Uh, number eight, um, Fox, um, and number nine, last but not least, Love. Thank you, TJ. Thank you. Let's hear it for TJ. Now, I, I'm, I'm guilty of a lot of, one second, you get the list? I'm guilty of them trying to read, and I'm just blown away at something, and I'm like, stop, wait a minute. So, but I love that, last but not least, least love. I, I love how I finished that. Okay. okay, you can introduce the next poet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next up, Lisa. I hate reading them in front of people. Oh. Well, it's a day to read them, to read in front of them. I see that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm that hard of sight, you know. I don't think I'm blind. Yeah. Okay, my first poem is a spring walk. Better put that down. I think they can hear me. I don't yeah. think I need a microphone. I'm quite loud enough. <laughs> As I take my first walk outside on the first warm spring day, I look around and see some pretty flowers coming up and I also hear some birds chirping and everything is beautiful and the sky is blue. Yeah. Sorry, I was... The last one, it was called The Christmas Angel. And it was supposed to be a poem, but with me and everything turns out to be a short story. Hey. So, the Christmas Angel comes around once a year the angel grants wishes that children make throughout the year. The Christmas angel lets the children know that they need to behave throughout the year if they would like their goodies on Christmas morning. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> now, I'm going to read a story. Now, I'm going to read something from Liana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Liana's really sorry she couldn't make it today, but her words are in good hands. <clears throat> <laughs> Roses in the field, the smell of bacon cooking, the little bird in the window, the daisy swaying in the wind, the bird stalking turns at the theater, the smell of coffee brewing. Okay. Next up, Lewis. Mr. Robert John Bannon worked for a radio station in Salem, Massachusetts. He moved to Montpelier, Vermont in 1956. <sighs> he worked at 1240 WSKI 1956. For a year and a half, he worked for <coughs> WSNO 1450 AM in Barry, Vermont. I met Bob Bannon at Allen Jones and Sons in high school. He played his own music. He changed his voices to characters. This is Hattie Maycomber speaking. This is Colonel Spiddley. This is Vincent Fainfield. This is the day where you go down and you're going to get a ticket. <laughs> On his own show. He did weather his own way. He used to guess the weather temperature outside. He was very funny. I had a t-shirt made of Bob Ann and he lived to be 86 years old. 
He told off the police department, especially Ed Fish, the Barry police chief. I got one more. I am a big George Possum Jones fan. I saw him in concert at the Champlain Valley Fairgrounds in 1992. It was a wonderful concert. He sings a, call, a song called Daddy Come Home with his daughter Georgiette Jones. He was married four times. His last wife was Nancy Jones. He was an alcoholic and did cocaine. He was born in Texas. He lived to be 81 years old. He died from High Park's Wedges Cherry Failure. In 1959, he had recorded his hit song, White Lightning. In, 1990, in 1956, he did Why Baby Why. It took him a year and a half to sing his biggest hit. He stopped loving her today. His last words were, hello there. I've been looking for you. My name is George Jones. And he also, his wife took away his car keys and he rode a tractor to the bar. <laughs> hey Ian, we're cruising through everything. You want to just tell us a joke? Not till I get to 10. No. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we turned that down. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Next up, Mindy. <laughs> All right, here we are, Mindy. Uh, maybe I forgot to tell you that the microphone is right there. Okay, right. thank you. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> you can do it, though. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, my poem is about tiger, a tiger. They are so cute and friendly. <laughs> and they like to eat food. They like to go hunting. <laughs> And they need food to live on. They have orange stripes. And they are pretty to see them at nighttime. And they have green eyes. <laughs> um, glow in the dark. You can see them when they are hunting. And you can see them in the woods. Hmm. <laughs> you have to be careful at night. Sometimes it snows cold. <laughs> <laughs> For them. And they go to stay warm warm somewhere they are so cute when they are little cubs cubs <laughs> where are you where are you where are you and i love them when they are babies, I love to take lots, lots of pictures. And I go to get every one of the pictures I took of them. 
when they are little baby tigers, they go to other place to hunt for food. Thank you so much. <laughs> yep, I got, I got two more. I want to read. How you feeling? I'm feeling awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this one, um, I worked hard on at Grandview. It's called. Um, what's it called? <laughs> well, <clears throat> Brolin. Oh, okay. This we're having like a little writing free association writing session. Yep. And what she came up, she was reading it, and she wrote "birdiful breeze." Bird of birdiful, birdiful breeze. And then that's where I jump up and say, "Wait a minute, right there." <laughs> That's the name of the poem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burnable. <Burnful. laughs> <clears throat> See the trees, and they wait. And the trees are pretty, and feel the water, and love the. Smell of water. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Tell it. And see the blue sky. <laughs> and see the top of the mountain. <laughs> um, and take a picture and see the print beautiful, beautiful, sun in the sky. <laughs> and see the birds and look at the waterfall <coughs> I I Please. Right there. Smell. I smell the beautiful breeze of spring. Spring. <laughs> the smell of wait, the sound of the leaves blowing. My last one. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Ian. She's still going. But... <laughs> this one I worked very hard on. This one is cleaning makes me feel good. I did a good job and I helped. The house smells so, so good. <laughs> Windows were open, open. We love the smell of fresh air. We 
cooked an amazing lunch. It tastes like it was made with love. Yeah. I did a great job cooking. It made me feel good about myself. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And we also have Millen. Sunshine's here too. Yeah, yeah. But what about my Sunshine, did you bring a poem? Yep, I did. You have one? Here, you're gonna read? Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Brittany's up. Okay. So now reading a story about Scott Brody is Brittany. And you have yours? Yeah. Okay. All right. And Brittany's also going to be performing one of her own. Yeah. But here's Scott Brody, who's so sorry he couldn't make it today. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Um, spring is here. The spring is my favorite time. Thoughts of renewed sense of purpose. The robin sings, the grass grows. I look to the long day. Hope is on the horizon. Don't worry, Mom. I'm in the light. The shadows aren't going to keep me in the darkness anymore. I'm doing the best I can, and it may not be what you think is perfect, but it's the best I can do. And just because you don't see me shining doesn't mean that my light isn't shining. The shadows aren't going to keep me hidden anymore. I'm going to allow myself to shine, and that may mean dimming your light. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. I have lived long enough in the shadows and the darkness while you stood in the spotlight every day. So I'm going to shine now, and everybody's going to see me for who I am for the first time, and they aren't going to see you as bright as you always seem to be. I'm shining through the darkness, I'm shining through the shadows, and I'm shining for me. Thank you. Now, thank you, Brittany. Now, reading Kayla's poem is Jen. Okay, so this is Kayla's. I need my phone to fix this. It's a little tricky, but maybe that's better. Is it By the way, this is what work is like every day. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Jen? Jen! Ah! You okay? Yeah. Whoa. Jen, do you need to sit? No, I'm okay. Okay. 
there don't was water. No, Jen, I just want to say, don't push this podium. She right. wasn't. <laughs> she was trying. Right. She okay. wasn't pushing it. And she was falling. Oh, I, I didn't want her. Okay. <laughs> if I can read this, um, I was. I'm having maybe, trouble seeing. Yeah, it. maybe you should sit I'll down. Do it. I'll do yeah. It. Yeah. I think Have you a should. seat. Yeah. You need some sugar or something or no. some water? Maybe. Yeah, we'll get some Yeah. But I think she needs a chair also. Sorry. Yeah. She needs a chair. Keep going. All right, Amy. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Kayla's home. It was sunny outside. I went for a walk at the barn, and when I was walking to the barn, I saw a lot of sunflowers on the ground. It was wild, white and yellow. I picked the sunflowers up. I smelled, I smelled the sunflowers. It smelled so good. I picked more sunflowers up, and I was holding it in my hands. I took them home. I saw a bird flying in the sky. They went to their bird feeder and they were eating the seeds. Oh. Thanks for the special guest, Amy. Okay. Now. Uh, who's next? Oh, that was um. That, that was okay. Kayla's. Oh yeah. Next <laughs> is Tim. <laughs> Just a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, summertime. <laughs> summertime. In that word, the sun makes me happy. Friendly <coughs> summer day. Water is calling. Up hearing the birds are happy. They are talking about. No more showers. Frogs are singing. This day is the day. We moon at night sky. Nighttime looks at the sky. Feel sleepy. The birds are sleeping. This is the second part. Yeah. Okay. This is the second part. Okay. This is the part. Okay. The trees and birds, the bird, Puro just car. Sunny in the woods. The birds are sitting summer. Blue sky, bird fly, flies. Cold day, trees are green. Birds are happy. Sitting. See big Bigfoot <laughs> um, out the owls in the wolves and the deer bears water fishing frogs blue more at home summer days and uh, we Today, and my sister said, Oh my god, to Joe, <laughs> it's so sleepy. We have iced coffee. Nature, go to sleep. Thank you. And now, who's next? 
Oh. Oh, let's see, that was this guy. So yeah. now we got a woman named Alice. Alice. Yeah, okay. Up next is Alice. There you go. Thank you. My mine is on heart. Heart heart is love. <clears throat> Everlasting friendship. Always there. Remembering good times. Trustworthy and caring. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Up next is Amy. Ooh, boy. <laughs> number nine, apparently. Number nine, number nine. Yeah. Before I read, I just want to say thank you, um, Walter, for encouraging me to do this. Okay, here's a couple of No. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Walter. Okay. Not like we all didn't see that little slippage there. I didn't either. Okay. Mine's about Thunder Road, the racetrack. Nation's high excitement. <clears throat> Thunder Road. Me going to see people drunk. Watching race cars <laughs> crashing, <laughs> engines roaring, people making food, cars fighting. Thunder Road! Oh, the paint schemes of the cars, the cars going around, the cars going around. Thunder Road! <laughs> the Thunder Road mascot being funny, the fireworks going off, people booing at the drivers, hearing the announcer talking to the drivers when they went. Thunder Road. Back, my dad was a race car driver back in the day. He was famous back in the day. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yay. All right. Well, hold on. Just before, before we go into the, a few more readers. I just want to talk about our mission at the Learning Collaborative. We're just a little rinky-dink mom and pop shop in the back of the building, and it's me and Joe and Brittany. We do collaborative artwork, writing, living skills, bird watching, movement therapy, karaoke. What else do we do, Ian? Go out field trip. We. We. It's one of Ian's favorites. And. And. Um, Bowling. Uh, we bowling's big. <laughs> we Wednesdays are a big thing. We have an online magazine. We have magazine uh, zines back there. We're just we're dedicated to sharing art and thoughts with the community, and we're never going to stop, are we? I also booked an art show in June at the Copy Place next to the drawing board where you can see, the, I have a lot of their art show in here, but we're gonna have more to come. So anyway, thank you all for coming. Also, it's not just me, Brett and Joe. We have wonderful, dedicated staff that help with uh, our poets and artists every day, tirelessly, and they're pretty darn good at what they do, aren't they? Yeah. So I wanna give a hand to them. All right, we got a few more wordsmiths ahead of us. Come in. Let's see. Oh got we did Amy. We did Amy. So now we got the beautiful and comparable Elizabeth. And then you're going to tell that, a joke. Yeah. And then Sunshine's going to come. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to have yeah. Sarsaparilla. No. Okay. Then I have to go. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. For our final one. No, next to final. Penultimate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the last one. This is like number 10, Elizabeth. For number 10, please give a warm welcome to. <laughs> sometimes the, the oh, wires are just. Oh, the wind. Yeah, sometimes the wires just. Look. It's, you guys. There we go. Let me, see. Let me try again. <laughs> For our last one. No, we can hear you. We got you. Yeah, you don't need just go I, I need it. For our last one. Yeah. 
Here is Elizabeth. Okay. All right, I'll get this. Okay. So this might. You got your two. Okay. So I'll just get that really close to you. Summer in the sun. You might have to get it on here. See the blue. There's just a, there's a couple, I just got to say, when she read this the first time, I just love um, a couple little bites in there she did. It's like, uh, I can see the flowers, I smell them cold. She's just like, oof, it hurts. That's when I stop. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> and then the other one is like, um, she's a dancing queen. She's a huge ABBA fan. And it's like, I am the dancing queen. I am walking with my feelings. Whoa. It's just, she's the dancing queen, but walking with her feelings. I don't know, stuff like that just gives me goosebumps. Anyway, see, so yeah, there I go again. Okay, go. Okay. So Thank sure. you, Elizabeth. And now, here. I think you're just too close. I think you're just too close. If you just talk from that distance, you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. And now, here is my joke. Um, oh, um, what is a pirate's favorite letter? I. You might think it's the R, but it's the C. <laughs> And now, to close out poetry, yep, you're okay. yep. here is sunshine. Hey, sunshine, make sure. 
sure you step on this. <laughs> <laughs> so Why? I love dogs. All right. I love dogs because they are loyal. I love dogs because they have a forgiving heart. I love dogs because they can do different jobs. I love dogs because they are very loving and don't care what you, what you do. I love dogs because God made them special, just like uh, our, his special angels in the learning collaborative. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, Sunshine. <laughs> Ask if anybody has any questions. Do, do any of you have? Okay, Ian. Ian, just little, listen to the back a little bit. There we go. Do any of you have any questions about what we were doing? I think they got it. Oh, okay. Thank you for coming. And. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming and for this day and goodbye. All right. We're gonna ling we're gonna linger linger a little. We're gonna linger a little bit. There's art you can look at really quick. There's free zines. We'll have plenty for you. Ask me questions or run away from us. Are we good? Yeah. All right, let's hear it once again for the Sticks and Stones. Yeah. 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 Yeah.